All right, I'm out of KL, heading to Kuala Lumpur. It's like about a three and a half hour bus journey to a small town at, um, in the middle of nowhere. I don't know what to expect from there, but I'm gonna take you guys there to check it out. And that's on my way to Kota Baru. And that's a, a bigger city, not as big as KL, but it's a city, big city on the, on the, um, the border of Thailand. Fikris has come with me, yeah. so he, he seen me up the back here and I was like, come on, come up here, it's it's better, because we've got this window here, but now we're not, we're in traffic, so it's still hot, but once the bus is moving, the breeze comes in and like, everyone else must be suffering, we're all sitting down the front and it's just still and muggy. Fikris told me that the bus driver said we're going to change buses, because the AC shit itself. It's fucking it's hot. It is so hot. Hey, it's hot. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and he's got on. He's got on jumpers and long pants because usually the bus is quite cool. Yeah. Long pants when he is. Yeah. It backfired. Poor fella. He come prepared and it wasn't the day for it. Literally cruising down a dirt road here. So I don't know. Must be a bus depot. Pretty off-road for buses. Like we're in the jungle at the moment. This bus is hot. I was lucky, I come up the back here. I feel sorry for the people up the front that are still suffering it. It was just that complete still humidity. No breeze at all. Horrible. Disgusting. Here we are. Yes. Epic. Sorry, mate. Oh, that's better. <laughs> He's laughing at me. The bus driver's laughing at me. <laughs> this bus? <laughs> oh, man, that was hot. That was very hot. Everyone was taking that real well. Like, no one complained. I think I was the only person that moved. Because, I, like, I knew there was breeze at the back of the bus. Hey, man. And uh, I moved and then the other fella was like, come on. And he came down, down with me. Bus number two. I'm probably back in the same seat, eh? Yep. All right. There is breezy, yes. There is. There is AC not the best of AC but it's AC it's better than and it will cool the bus down that was hectically hot mate that was like a sweat box Oof. anyway bus number two hopefully I make it and we can make it one hour down the road so I can get off <laughs> Beautiful, and we've just, we just gotten outside of one of the smaller towns there. Now we are on our way to Kuala Lumpur, so that'll be, I think, the next stop. And then I'll be done on this part, this leg of the journey, just for the night. And then tomorrow, bus it to um, Kota Baru. And it's hell pretty, eh? That is beautiful, like real jungle, jungle vibe. Beautiful, I love, I love the shopping. It's stunning. All right, we're here, sweet. Let's get off this bus. Yeah, beautiful. Thank you. Fuck, my bag's wet. All right. <clears throat> now I gotta figure out where the fuck I'm staying. This is 
Kuala Limpus. Small town in the middle of Malaysia. Middle of nowhere, really. Oh shit. <clears throat> it's like half a K away. I thought this bus would stop in town, but no, the bus stops out of town. And no, I've got to fucking walk my ass all the way into town. Now, I don't think there's going to be taxis here because there's nothing here. So, anyway, last nice little afternoon stroll. At least it's not raining. It's the main thing. It's not pissing down rain. Now, this is alright. This is nice. I like the vibe of this town. This is it's quite pretty. And it's like literally not a place you would normally come to. That's the whole point of what I'm doing right now. Is just going to not where the tourists go. I was just like, right. I want to go to nowhere and so I did I booked to nowhere and like this is not a big town or see it's not even a city I think that's just about it there's a main strip up here and um and that's it nice and fucking wet <laughs> Some girls. There was a place right here that I could have booked, and I was like, no, nah, I'll book in town because the bus stop is going to be in town. And no, it's not. So, looks like a nice afternoon stroll for me. So, I, I lost so much weight. Like, I dropped heaps of my stuff to do this trip. Got a new bag, and I still I think I've got too much. This is unavoidable because I do everything myself I I film I edit upload do everything myself so I have to have the equipment for that so it's a lot of work but the backpack it's still it's not heavy it's not really not that heavy it's about 10 kilos but I need to drop more weight because I just I just don't like um I don't like traveling with heaps of stuff. All right, so I got a bridge coming up. Cross over into, Kuala, well, it's all Kuala Lumpur. It's like divided. There's a river that runs through it. Hopefully it doesn't piss down rain before I get to where I'm going. Because this monsoon season here in, in uh, Malaysia is just mental. One minute it's fine, sunny, steamy, and the next minute it's pissing down rain. But look at this place. This is awesome. Old ancient Amazonial looking fucking river running through it. Even though we're a long way from the Amazon, but it, you know what I mean. And now there's the town down here. That's where I'm going. That's cool. It's a nice little place. This is the the, you, the place you don't visit this is why you got to go off the beaten track who knows what advent adventures await i got people down there in a canoe too Mr. hey I like the Malays, they're all pretty friendly, most of them. You get your dickhead, but you get that everywhere. You'll never get 100% perfect. So you just gotta accept there's tosses everywhere and you get on with it. And you focus on the good ones, cause it's the fucks, the good ones that make life just awesome. They really do. Welcome guys to Kuala Limpis. What a cool little town. Yeah bro, I, I really want, I'm considering getting a motorbike and uh riding thailand doing all thailand on motorbike what do you reckon guys should i do it it'll be an overhead i can't really afford to but if i buy the bike and then i sell the bike after i might be all right maybe just take a little bit of a loss but that won't be any more of a loss than than uh what it's going to cost me to take transport you know i've got it 
either way you gotta pay unless you hitch but I will be hitching at some point too man man this place looks ancient this is cool huh? there's old Portuguese style buildings I'm pretty I'm pretty sure the Portuguese settled here don't quote me on that yeah it's pretty awesome eh? like and that's just ancient looking like old rainforest and check that out random little little town in the middle of nowhere I am literally in about the center of um, Malaysia in the middle of absolutely bum nowhere maybe it's good fishing I wonder what you catch here hmm some prehistoric looking demon I reckon look at these buildings man it's like they're overgrown look at this one down here <laughs> it's gonna be interesting I wonder what my hotel's gonna be like fuck I went the wrong way that just infuriates you. I'm white boy. No idea what I'm fucking doing. I literally don't know, ever know what I'm doing. I just make shit up as I go. So I always make shit up. Because I just, I'm just almost on autopilot every single day. Just moving. That's all I do. I just move. I move and do shit. Oh fuck, you scared me. Hey. <laughs> oh, that kid scared the shit out of me. Just hello out of the window and it made me jump like all hell. Whew. Startled me. <laughs> Little shit. He's just waving saying hi. Right. Down here is where I'm going. This is pretty busy and it's a bit it's bigger than I thought. This is Hey! This is not tiny. Like it's not like a little village. It's a um looks tiny on the maps, but never trust that. It's small, it's almost like a small city. It's quite big. And compared to how to what I thought it was gonna be anyway. That guy just gave me the death look. He looked like he was about to fucking cut my kidneys out and eat me. <laughs> Master Polystar? What is that? It's here? Um, oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Cheers. Oh, it's only one night. Uh, I have a reservation for Chris. What's your name? Chris. Christopher. What does that look like? Three or six. The key's stuck in the fucking door. Come on, man. Thank fuck this AC. I'm pissing bullets, sweating bullets. Oh, this is my room. It's about. 40, 40, 46 ringgit. I think so, that's pretty good. That's pretty cheap. Two beds. Anyway, all right guys, see you in the next one.